is Jerome from Luniverse, and I'm excited to get to another new reaction today. And today's gonna be a little different. I saw on my Facebook post that I put up something about like Linkin Park and how much I loved them when I was a small, small kid. So I'm excited to get into the first rock song that I ever really liked, which will be In The End. And back then YouTube wasn't as big, so you didn't watch live videos. And by the time YouTube got big, I didn't want to hear Linkin Park anymore. I started growing into different genres. I think I, I heard Linkin Park and then I heard Slipknot immediately after and just went in that direction. So I'm excited to listen to the first song that I truly like from them because it's just been weird. Like when I was younger, like I love Linkin Park and I switched to Slipknot and just went down to sort of like this weird new metal emo phase. And I didn't want to listen to Linkin Park because I was like, this isn't heavy enough or whatever. And then um, I just didn't listen to him. And when that thing happened with Chester, rest in peace, uh, I was kind of sad, but I still couldn't pull myself to listen to it. I just felt like whatever. And now that post just made me realize like, hey, I can react to some Linkin Park live music. I know that they were big, like super big. I didn't really listen to them. So I'm gonna see what today, I'm gonna see what in the end sounds like live. So make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. If you wanna comment maybe some heavier songs, I'm not sure how I'm gonna resonate with the song now or how their live performances are, but if you can think of a really, really heavy live performance from them, because I know they're new metal, so they have some, they should have good heavy songs. But uh, without further ado, I need to a live version of In The End by Linkin Park. I'm gonna pull up it right now, but I think it's from 2011 if I end up using that. You guys are amazing. <laughs> really weird now like listening to it because like this time around listening to it i have a very very huge yeah, like, we just heard that. i have a very huge understanding of like musical instruments so now i can hear like they're hitting sustained notes and i'm listening to the drums like things i never really listened to before but the rap was like rap it was like whatever whatever i remembered it as and then the chester's part his vocal sounded pretty good he looks like he's like tired or something they might have been on stage all day but so far it sounds pretty good but i'm enjoying it I
Okay, so it's like it sounds really good, and I feel like I would normally be like super happy, but I think just because everything I know, like Chester has me like kind of like sad. Like, but it's really good to watch him perform. Is like he's the emotion behind it feels like super raw with him, and that's what I'm enjoying. So I'm excited to get to this part and just hear. But so far, the band sounds really good. I can hear the bass is overpowering everything, but the drummer sounds amazing, and the whole performance sounds really good. Just kind of like weird, like nostalgia all around. For all this, there's only one thing you should Okay, so that was In the End by Linkin Park live at MTV World Stage 2011. The performance was all, the performance was like really good. It brought all these like feelings back and all these memories. Like listening to the song, I realized when they were playing the intro record at the end, that was the first instrument I ever learned. Like keyboard, somebody taught me how to play In the End. Like, ding, ding, ding. And that was the first thing I learned, but I totally slipped my mind all these years. And I just remember once I heard it, I was like, oh, I learned how to play this a long time ago. I probably can't play it now, but um, yeah, that's crazy. And the performance sounds good. It's like R.I.P. Chester. He was a real man of talent. I could hear it in his voice. And now, like being a little older, I don't know what I thought the message was before. I knew the words before and I used to just sing it, just to sing it, but I never put any meaning behind it. But I think now I'm older. The song sounds kind of like sad, like you're just giving it all and it doesn't matter at the end of the day. Like I didn't know what that meant when I was a kid or a teenager and now I'm like a grown up and I know what it means to like do something you feel like it doesn't even matter. But that was In the End by Linkin Park. Uh, let me know any other heavy songs because I know they have a lot of emotional songs because my coworker used to tell me but... Okay, if you know any other heavy songs, let me know, because I know this one's more emotional than heavy, if you ask me, and I remember they had heavy songs, so let me know any other heavy live performance, the heaviest. We want heavy Linkin Park. I want to remember them heavy as possible. This is Drawn from Luniverse, and I'll be seeing you guys later. Peace.